welcome to an overcast October Saturday in South Florida. There's still enough sunshine, however, for some to head to South Beach. While over at the port, others are about to embark on a week-long Caribbean cruise. Others are headed back to shore just in time for kickoff because there's something special brewing in this tropical breeze. It's Florida State and Miami next. The Florida State Seminoles ranked third in the country. 4-0 with wins over Duke, North Carolina State, North Carolina, and Clemson. They come into the Miami game for the seventh straight year undefeated. Miami has beaten them, however, four of the last six years. And there's Butch Davis leading the Canes to the Orange Bowl field. They have beaten the Seminoles at the Orange Bowl five straight times. The state won the toss and elected to defer. Miami will have the football first playing into the win. When you have a defense like Florida State, Jim, you should defer, particularly with the weather conditions. The kick flies three yards deep, and it will be run out by Benton. Magic Benton to the 20. First down from the 20. And a mix-up by Miami, and Ferguson fortunate to get back to the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Carlo Joseph is his fullback. Benton and Jermaine Chambers, who has terrific hands. Chris Jones, the tight end. And the line with Blaze and Mercier. KC Jones, an all-league center with Wayner and Jay Ina. Every one of those offensive linemen played last year. They're too deep. Might be Miami's strength this year on offense. Nick Williams has come in as the fullback, number 30, on second and 10. Clement got a little one-on-one -on -one action and overthrows an open man, Yatiel Green. Dyrell McMillan in as a running back on third and 10. Florida State with 22 sacks, looking for another, and Clement just gets it away. He is drilled. Puts a hit on him. What a hit. The punt with a favorable Miami bounce and down at the 33-yard line. Bad Busby under the microscope. He had five interceptions in the first three games, but some performance against Clemson. Goal from the 33, and Busby locks the ball over the arms of Melvin Pearsall. But Warwick Dunn, the All-America running back. Khalid Abdullah is his fullback. Green and Cooper, both over 1,000 yards receiving last year. Cooper was the MVP here at the Orange Bowl in the win against Notre Dame. And there's the offensive line. Second down and 10 from the shotgun. Dunn for about five, maybe six. But boy, have they improved in the last year. Holmes wanting to have a big day to prove that their defensive ends can match up with Florida State's. The linebacking core, all seniors at Miami, they returned 10 starters from last year. Little, Scott, Wimberly, and Starks in the secondary. We'll call it third and five for Florida State. Busby almost intercepted. He had the blitz coming on, and it was returned for a touchdown. But he's an excellent punter. Their punter for the fourth straight year. And the fair catch made by Starks. Second possession from the 20. Ferguson with a hole. For about seven, Florida State's defense has allowed only three points in the first half this year in four games. Those may be the two best defensive ends in the country right there. That's Wilson and Bullware. Crawford, Bush, the leader of the defense, Crockett. And the secondary was Saunders, Smith, Jackson, and Roll, and they rotate a lot of men in that secondary. They on special teams. They're Old great Daniel special teams play. Crew from their own conference. Clement, well, had to be careful there, Ferguson. To the 14. 
Florida State has allowed the opponent to only rush for an average carry of 1.1 yards an attempt. On second and 16, Clement overthrowing and getting picked off. Nowhere close to a hurricane. Green was the intended target. Blockers in front. And that's Troy Saunders with the interception. Running it back to the 20. The got Teal Green. He wasn't even close. Personal foul against Florida State. Warwick done in the backfield. Coles has come in. They're looking for Coles. And one-on-one -on -one coverage provided. Running play. Dunn shaking a tackle and gaining only two yards. Third and eight for Florida State from the Miami 33. Busby, man's open. Has the first down. That's Abdullah. What a but, collision. But will return. First down, Seminoles, 21-yard line. Busby, out of the pocket. Somehow gets away the first time, but not this time. Bumped out at the 31. That's the fact that they can stay in their league. They want to prove they're better than the Florida State defensive ends. Second and long. Busby going long. Little's down there on the coverage with Cooper. Third and 18, we'll call it. Wayne Messam has come in as a third receiver. Miami showing blitz, but they back off. Busby up the middle. Incomplete. Looking for Green for 48-yard try, Bentley. Good. Inside right. <laughs> that has a, a better ring. Bentley's kick this time. Even deeper. And Benton will not bring it out. Take nothing away from Butch Davis, but his team has beaten only one ranked opponent in that entire stretch, and that was Syracuse when it was 22nd. Ferguson for six. Throwing game. Been very impressive. On second and four, Ferguson dropped for a good loss. Third and seven he faces. Play action. Clement firing. Good pass this time. Complete to Jermaine Chambers. 3-0 Florida State first quarter. Seminoles not a lot of point this year in the first quarter. And Miami's Danielle Ferguson. Oh. Second down and nine. Clement with a quick fake. Over to Green. Into Florida State territory at the 48. That's a first down. It's not a tomahawk chop. That was a first down for Miami, says Ben. Tony Gator in as a receiver. Ferguson slicing. Bumbling. Football picked up. Florida State running it back with Shevin Smith. Smith, touchdown, Simmons. Shevin Smith. 10 nothing. Seminoles halfway through the first quarter. Miami with two mistakes. An interception that led to a field goal and a fumble return for a touchdown. Exactly what's happened thus far in the first quarter. And once again, Bentley will not allow Miami to return the kick. Crawford looking for another big hit. Ferguson remains in the backfield. Here he is. Holding on for seven. Carolina. During the run, 10 yard penalty, defeat, first down. The Florida mistakes are haunting Miami early. They were called for a holding penalty, so replay the down, first and 13. Clement to Benton, out of bounds at the 28. He's a real weapon for Miami, maybe the most explosive player on the field for them. Second and three, and Ferguson for the first down, Dexter Jackson. First and 10 from the 31. Fake to Ferguson. Looking for Green. What a catch at the 34 of Florida State. 
Samari Roll pull it down, and actually Samari Roll should have had a face mask penalty here. He grabs him by the face mask right there oh, yeah. and pulls him down. Throwing into, uh, but Green did have it by a step. Ferguson for a yard. Nick Williams is the fullback in the eye. Second and ten. Never a chance. And a sack by Renard Wilson gives him the school record. Surpassing Ron Simmons. On Bill Fulcher in as a tight end. Clement looking for Gator and he overthrew him this time. Punning and placement chores. Miami has a chance to keep it in play and let's see. Trying to win at the Orange Bowl for the first time since 1984 against Miami. And Dunn looking to throw. Incomplete. Looking for Wayne Messam. Year in a row, Dunn has thrown the halfback option against Miami. Keeps that secondary soft. Now look at the secondary. will have to make a move now. Dunn set free past the 50. Starks giving chase. Dunn breaks it for a touchdown. 80 yards. He broke away from Marcus Wimberly. Florida State and the Ghost here at the Orange Bowl. 17 to nothing, Seminoles. Ball behind 17 to nothing. This is the first quarter. Bentley's kick, a hot one. Clement. To Green for about seven. Marvelous young man. Two tight ends for Miami. And that's near the first down. They visit about how things are going at Florida State. Third and one. Fullback gets it. And on a second effort, gets the first down. That's kind of done. Well, we'll get back to that. As Clement under fire, tucks it away, takes the sack. Second down at 13. Got a flag. Maybe a free down for Miami, but just a little gain. 54-yard fumble return for touchdown. Warwick done 80-yard run touchdown. Second and nine. Miami. Clement fumble. And Jay Ina recovered. Another flag is down. Outside him. Kelly declined. Third down. With a guard or a tackle, uh, with a with a back tight end, you need to get some help on some of those guys. Already with three sacks in the first quarter, third and forever, and Clement has a man down there. Caught again for a good game by Yatil Green. 40-yard completion. Ferguson, another flag down in their defensive backs and such confidence in that pass. A disastrous first quarter for the Hurricanes. Bobby Bowden's team so impressive early. 17 to nothing. We'll return to the Orange Bowl after this message and a word from your local station. <laughs> that is a remarkable stat right there. There's not a football coach in the country that would believe that that stat would, would prove to be true. But Miami driving first and five, Florida State 35. McMillan, first carry of the game, and that's here a first. In fact, let's uh, point that out, but not enough for the first. Second and one. Take the pitch, going wrong. Green's open. Did he get a foot down? Yes, touchdown, Miami. Byron Capers is beat badly by Green. Does he get a foot down? Hard, hard to tell right there. Extra point is missed by Miami. 17 to 6, Seminoles. Teal Green. In college football, you've got to have one foot down when you have possession of the ball. Right? 
there he's got possession of the ball. Looks to me like Miami got away with one there. That completion's going to help Ryan Clements' confidence right there. And the kick will not be run back. Busby. Cooper is there. Cooper. That was an important tackle put on him. He's quite a talent also. Lined up as the tailback out of the eye. There he is, Preston, in traffic for about two, maybe three. Booker Pickett, you saw him for a moment, 53, in on the defensive line for Miami on second and eight. Busby with good time. Man is open. He's got the tight end, Pearsall, who rumbles to the 36. This time he'll take it under center. Busby prefers the shotgun. Preston to uh, about three Hurricanes. Second down, pass play, a beauty. Goes for the first down to Cooper. To connect on a touchdown pass, missing the point after. And on first and ten, Rock Preston runs for about three. The state at the top of your screen brings in Peter Warwick. Warwick for the first time, but it's Preston getting the running play, and he's about a yard shy of the first on the short yardage situation. And Preston near the chain. He's run four, five wide receivers. They don't have the first. He's lined up four or seven yards deep in the backfield. Quarterback sneak for the first. You got it, Terry. again. Oh, as he hit hard right away by Swan Russell and James Burgess. Second and 11. E.G. Green and Peter Warwick are the receivers. Busby's going to the end zone. Looking for Green and almost intercepted. Dwayne starts with the coverage. Third and 11. Zone. Out of bounds. Caught by Cooper out of bounds. He wanted the interference call. He has leaping ability, but right here, Earl Little is all over him, and they're they're shoving at each other right there. But right there, Andre Cooper threw him out of the way. We'll now try one from 32. Bentley's kick is good. 20 to 6. Florida State and will return to the Orange Bowl after this word from your local station. It isn't that Miami's not ready to play or they're rusty. The breaks have gone to Florida State. They've made the big plays. Jones comes up to make the catch. And good starting field position for Miami. And Scott Bentley has already made two in this game. Twice able to raise the arms. They need to get back to it. Second and eight. The draw. Ferguson. Took about four Seminoles to bring him down. They stay healthier. They fight to get those reps. Third down and five. Maybe a free down for Miami. There is a flag as they sack the quarterback. Canell Spain with the sack, but if it's a penalty against Florida State, it would likely be enough for a first down. Wadsworth, by the way, out with a contusion on his leg, and they'll evaluate his playing status the rest of the day at halftime. Clement. Oh, is he hammered. Second and a long 10. draw a flag down Ferguson scampers to the 43 Andrews tips us off motion penalty against Miami second and 15 comes the pressure Clement good job getting it away short gain to Chris Jones the tight end picked off once also got to be careful about all those pregame statements you make third and eight makes the pitch makes the pass 
first down for Green at the 32. Is he impressive? Hardy with 143 yards receiving. First down Miami, 440 to go in the half. Ferguson inside the 30. He's a complete back, back. He blocks as well as receives in addition to running with the football. He's complete. Second and seven. Clement rolling out. And the pass intended for Benton, and he had someone on his back. Conversion on the last series that led to a touchdown. This one. Let's see. Clement across the middle. Jones first down at the 10. You want him back in that game if there's any way possible he can play. First and 10, or first and goal from the 10, and Ferguson picks up two. You know, Bush's nose is, he's a warrior, he loves it. Second and goal from the eight. Miami down 14. Clement, right side, Williams, stacked up at the five. Good one-on-one -on -one play there by Samari Roll. Miami has had tremendous success on third down. Third and goal. Clement back paddling, now flinging in the touchdown! Yatil Green for the second time! And made the play work. This time, Crossland kicks the extra point through. Ryan Clement has now thrown for over 200 yards in the first half. Two going for touchdowns. It's Florida State now by seven. <laughs> Put him on the kick coverage team. Yeah, that guy. They might. Enthusiasm. And Warwick runs it back near the 20. That Busby will he beat the play clock just barely. And Dunn fumbles the football. Recovered by Miami. Denny Fortney knocked it loose. Denny Holmes recovered. First and goal from the nine. Clement went right away for it. But a miscommunication with Magic Benton. Second and goal. Ferguson, no gain. Right now, he's the hot guy. Third down has uh, been there down. Third and goal. Clement steps up, dumps it. Ferguson felt the footsteps. 26-yard try by Crossland. And a kick is good. Miami converts the fumble into three. You know, you have to give the Florida State defense credit. Gaetan to kick off. it in the air this time. Warwick on the run back. And he is belted at the 18. 124 before halftime. Busby from under center. Gives to Dunn. Who is tripped up at the 20. And he'll return with the crowd. So stirred. Dunn, 15-yard line. Third and three. They plug it here. They get the football back one more time before intermission. But Dunn has the first down yardage out to the 30. That's the end of the first half with the score. Florida State 20 and Miami 16. Pat O'Brien, Danny Sheridan, and Greg James will be coming along next with College Football Today after this word from your local station. Psyche as to whether or not they can continue the dominance here in the Orange Bowl. Gaetan's kick to Preston at the 18. And out to the 25. Busby has three receivers to start out the second half. Dunn sidesteps the defender and out for about five. Ryan Clement right now has played better in the first half than certainly Busby has. Second and five. Busby flings it. Man open. At the 43, it's Green, E.G. Green. He was a 1,000-yard receiver last season. Set the school record. On first down, Busby, good time. Now will run with it. First down and all the way to the 26. 
Busby with four seconds on the play clock. Off the audible, now fires right side. And intended for Cooper. Bobby's mixed it up with both. From under center this time, second and ten. Big hole for Dunn. And finally, Dennis Scott has to ride him down, but it's a first down. First down from the 14. Dunn up the middle for about five. Inside, give. Fake the give, and Busby kept it and sacked from the 17. A three-receiver set. Busby, left side, Preston, big hit, but he bangs away for the first down at the three-yard line. The hit has a, it's well covered, he makes the play, and then right there, he breaks the tackle on number four, Earl Little. Flag down, the play was whistled down. I have a motion penalty against a legal procedure penalty. Preston. Talk about it. You talk about a drive that set the tempo for Florida State. That was a drive. Come out with the opening kickoff in the second half. Establish the run. And Bentley makes the point after. 75 yard drive and 10 plays. The coach got his wish. 27 16 Florida State. State's best drive of the game, resulting in the Preston touchdown. Benton will down it. Clement and Miami struggle going in this direction in the first quarter. He's coming out firing. Lost it. That's Carlo Joseph for a gain of about three. Second and seven. Ferguson. Looked outside, broke it back inside. Gain of three, third and four. Clement, gonna run for it. I don't know. Had to get right to the 30. I think he's a little short. I don't think he made it. Just a second ago, Yatil Green suddenly uh, rushed to the locker room after that incredible first half where he caught two touchdowns. First and ten. Clement never a chance. As Peter Bulware. Second and 18. A draw. Ferguson. Got a big chunk back out to the 36. Three receiver set. Clement. Going long for Gator. And there's a flag thrown. He was held up by Shevin Smith. And he was. This will come out of the game. Holding defense. 10-yard penalty. Previous spot. First down. And That's well, the draw play and then the pass interference right there. Holding. 6.45 to go. Uh, third quarter. And it's Ferguson. Sean Hamlet makes the tackle. Second and eight. Ferguson for no gain. Third down and nine. Miami still hot on third down. Let's see. Gator pulls it in for the catch and the first down at the 38. Clement up top and in traffic. He was trying to in five minutes remaining third quarter. Florida State 27 to 16. Ferguson. Getting no room to operate at all. You got to like that in your linebacker. Third and ten. Clement overthrows Benton. And now a decision to kick. Up into the air. Will Miami cover it? They got Brooks down there. He makes the catch at the three. Pinning Florida State way back. Florida State's worst starting field position. 
with four minutes remaining third quarter. And Dunn gets him out of the jam a little bit with six. So he wants his team to take advantage of this third quarter and do as much scoring as possible, Jim. That's Warwick Dunn. And they'll get a chance to move the chains with Rocky Preston again replaces Dunn. Kenny Holmes got in on the quarterback, but he released it in time to Green for the first down. First down. Given Chase is lying. Oh, what a sack! Back at the 20 yard line. That's more than a 10 yard loss. Second and 22. Wayne Messerman is a receiver. They counter. Preston. Near the 30. It'll be third and uh, before they switch ends at the end of the quarter. Third and 15. Looking long and incomplete. Wayne Messam, part of the game. A flag down. The left tackle. Ball start. Five yard penalty. The quarterback telling him what he needs to do. This with no pressure. What a boomer. It's all the way to the end zone. That's a 76-yard punt. Auburn leading right now over Mississippi State. They're ranked 18th coming into the weekend. That's Daryl McMillan running the football. Second down and eight. Clement comes it short. That's Magic Benton. He's looking for a little magic. It goes for a first down. McMillan tries the right side for short yardage. We're inside of a minute. So you've got to you've got to question whether or not they need to throw it a little more often now, even though they're going to throw into a fierce pass rush. Gator with the catch on second and eight, and he is about a yard shy of the first. That's the end of the third. Florida State 27, Miami 16. We'll return after this message and a word from your local station. In the history of this series, 13 times they've lost the game. And they're trying to bring those ghosts out. But what, what a fumble that was. Well, let's see if they rule it a fumble. They do. On third and one, Bullware with the recovery as Clement tried to sneak it for the first. They open up the final stanza with a turnover. Must be hand off to Dunn. Dunn for nine. Second and one. There's the sneak. The one that Miami was looking for. First down. And I know you can't believe that Washington gave up 54. First and 10. And Dunn loses a yard. I really can't believe Washington made it 17-6 after a botched extra point. Second and 12, and Busby left side. There's Warwick. And out of bounds. It'll be third down. Possession led to a Preston touchdown. And Florida State will not get the first. Dunn, Bentley, two for two today. Good from 48 and 32. This one, 42 yards. You hate to say it, wide right. <laughs> I look to Miami to get the ball to Green. First down. Here they are. Going for him right away. Long ball. And, oh, it almost came back into the arms of Green. Second down and 10. On the counter. Ferguson exploding ahead. First down out to the 38-yard line. Ohio State has moved back in front. 17-14 over Wisconsin. First down, Ferguson cuts back to the middle and out to the 46. A nice glide that time. Second and four. To stay on the ground for a first down at midfield. Ryan Clement, who had a huge second quarter, now going to the air. Has his target, 41-yard line. Got Teal Green, first catch of the second half. Clement 
Got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Right side, looking for Magic. James Colsey on the coverage. This is where they turned it over on the sneak to start the quarter. Same situation. Ferguson has it, slicing up the middle. At the 35. Ferguson finding the flow on this drive. He's got 30 yards rushing. They go back to him. Hard to bring down. How he kind of related it to me. Second down and seven. Clement over to Ferguson. Oh, breaks the tackle. And got back to the line of scrimmage. Third and seven. Eight and a half remaining. Not this time. Renard Wilson. Put him in such a long yardage position. But I think Miami's got to go for this. Got to give their quarterback time. Clement dumps it short. That's not enough for the first, is it? No, he's short. That's Gerard Daphnis, and he was trying to lunge for it. Seven and a half remaining. Ron Dugan's in as the receiver. They're going to their main man, Warwick Dunn. Good piece of running for about eight. John Cooper's got to be excited going 5-0. and oh, May have the best team in the country. Second and one, Miami was offside. That was the key player for Florida State. These three all lost at the Orange Bowl. Fidel, Charlie Ward, Brad Johnson back here in 90. 6.20 remaining. New set of downs. Dunn. He's getting good yardage on first down. Second and five. First thing ahead, and he's about a yard shy. It's done again. Get us the football back. You got to get the ball back right here. Third and one. It's done. And he has the first. First down, Busby in no hurry. With one on the play clock. He takes the snap, gives it to Dunn for a short yardage. Generally, it goes to a guy like Werfel or Davis or Ward Dunn, someone that touches the ball all the time. This is Rock Preston. Breaking free. Down to the 10-yard line. Earl Little saves the touchdown. Done. Look at him fighting for the goal line. And another nine. Two minutes remaining. Busby. They could get the first. This one between Miami Florida and Florida State. Half the goal. Tyler will give him a first down. Busby over the top. Ball's free. Look out. Miami comes out of it, and they say touchdown. There's a signal for a touchdown. Busby broke the plane. What? Holy <laughs> smoke. What if he had not broken the plane? Look at Bobby Bob. <laughs> that Busby right here, he's got to just get the ball across the plane of the goal line. Right there, clearly, he breaks the plane. Touchdown. Good call by the official. The ball popped free off of a Miami helmet across the plane. And Bentley's extra point gives Florida State the 34 to 16 lead. Fiesta ball and the season opener last year, 31 to 8. We didn't want to play him very often in between, did we? <laughs> Why would you? Third down and a foot, and they fumbled the ball. Another Seminole sack. Three of them will share it. The Orange Bowl advantage over Florida State about to come to an end. Magic Benton. 
trying to get to the sideline to stop the clock. Unable to do it. He'll be fighting for that thing up in there now. Ferguson on a draw play on third down. Great omen for this Florida State team. How about ending it with an exclamation point? A sack of the quarterback. In fact, Clemen may have been hurt. Clemen was hurt on the sack. 